Hey, what's going on everybody? Today we're gonna to be talking a little bit about drones, specifically how you can get one of these drones for free and how to get started using these for development and how to just have a little bit of fun. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, IBM is involved in a lot of initiatives to help this world. One of which is to help people get started with development using these drones and using them to solve real world problems. So what's happening is that IBM has given away 2000 of these Tello drones and these things are really cool because you can control them from your smartphone. You could also use a controller if you wish, but using the smartphone, you can have full control and you can see what the drone sees because it has a 720p HD camera on it. So if you're new to drones and even new to technology, this is a really good way to get started with technology, having fun with technology, and even going into the side of programming. Because when you get one of these drones, they give you access to a lot of these code patterns that allow you to create some pretty cool applications. Using these drones, you can start getting experience integrating with Watson Visual Recognition, Watson IoT, IBM Cloud, and IBM Data and Analytics. So the long-term goal of this is not just that you get a drone, you get to play with it, but that you actually create some pretty cool applications and you can use those for real-world problems. So to enter, it's pretty easy. Just go to the link in the description. There's a button, enter to win. <laughs> Put your information in there and what they're gonna do is they're announce their winners every Monday, there's links for that as well. At the time of this recording, it says 1,500 drones, but they're extending that to 2,000. So <laughs> they got lots of drones and they wanna give them out to you guys and start helping people develop applications. So to talk a little bit about this drone, it's a pretty nice drone. It's definitely an entry level drone. It's not like something super insane, but it's not some junky drone you're gonna get at the dollar store either. <laughs> Do they even sell drones at the dollar store? Eh, probably not, but I think normally these things run about 100 bucks. But the cool thing about these drones is that the, the stabilization on them is really, really good. I have a cheaper drone and flying this was like a whole new thing. On top of that, you can see everything is sees with your smartphone. So it feels as if you are the drone getting to watch what it watches. It also comes with a lot of built-in capabilities and features. So for example, you can make it do a complete circle. You can make it circle around another object. You can throw it out of your hand and let it take off. And there are numerous flips you can do. Overall, it's a pretty fun drone. It's pretty sturdy too. It doesn't feel like it's just gonna break on the first crash. So it's a great opportunity to get your hands wet with drones. And on top of that, this drone has an API. So an API basically allows you to tell the drone to do things through calls. So you can use code to say, hey, launch, take off, hey, do a flip. <laughs> and then when you're done, you can tell it to land. So on that, you can create pretty cool applications using the Tello with Scratch, or you can even use some other programming languages such as Python. There are example Python scripts where you can basically just say the commands in text on a Python console and it'll do those commands but that allows you to build more complex things. So if you wanted to follow a pattern of commands, you can make a more complex program that calls these commands. <laughs> it works. So if you wanna use this drone, all you have to do is turn it on and it emits a Wi-Fi signal. So you can connect to it on Wi-Fi and this will allow you to issue commands. It's the same way if you wanna use the mobile app you just connect to it on Wi-Fi and then open the Tello app and you'll see exactly what the drone sees. With this drone, you can also take photo and video and store it right on your mobile device. So if you need a cool way to get some photos and video, drone is for you guys. Now I had some serious fun flying this drone just because it's really natural in the controls. Like it feels like you are the drone. <laughs> Overall, I'd say it's a pretty good drone and the fact that you can get it for free is pretty sick. All right, the battery died, so we're just gonna have to simulate some drone footage. <laughs> All right, let's do this. There we go. <laughs> really? <laughs> So a little bit more about the challenge. The idea is that you will get one of these drones and continue to go through these code patterns to make cool applications and start being a little bit creative about how you're developing. And then what you do is you can share your results out on social media and with IBM using the hashtag IBM drone drop. There's a lot of people out there doing some really cool stuff with drones. So not only is this a good way to get some coding XP as well as getting some hands-on with a drone, 
But these applications you're gonna be building, these can be great for your resume. So if you're applying to jobs, you can say, dude, check out what I did with this drone. It's really super cool. This is my first time working with a drone that you can use custom applications to control. So this is like all new to me as well. If, if you've never worked with drones, <laughs> I'm in there with you. Obviously I'm not to the point where I've made drones that can go find lost animals and stuff, but <laughs> I think, you know, if I really got into this, there'd be some really cool applications I could do, especially with the Watson visual recognition and as well as the online cloud processing, build in some really cool applications. That's all I got for you guys. If you've enjoyed this content, please consider subscribing and also check out the links in the description where I'll link to the drone contest. And I really appreciate you guys watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.